Hey plant gang, unfortunately I just have a little bit here where uh, I can show you just a piece of this, Potophyllum, this May apple. Uh, blooming here, this is just a little patch here, this umbrella-like plant, uh, really one of the iconic native wildflowers of Appalachia, uh, the May apple. Quite beautiful right now uh, in mid-April, really showing out. Uh, one of the ones you can go out to the mountains, you can go uh, even uh, any place where there's woods and see this growing right now. A uh, beautiful wildflower shows up now. It uh, does not last a very long time, uh, but one you should definitely know and recognize. So here we are looking at Potophyllum uh, pellitatum, uh, the Indian apple, May apple, wild mandrake, a uh, couple of different common names, but one, a wildflower that's very common uh, for us in East Tennessee, but really uh, throughout Appalachia, throughout the southeastern United States. Uh, May apple is unique in that it only has two leaves and one flower, which grows in the axis of the leaves. The large twin umbrella-like leaves of May apple are showy and very conspicuous as you see them uh, in either the landscape or out in the wild. Uh, you really do notice these quite, uh, quite readily this time of year. Uh, as they emerge from the soil, uh, these big leaves are folded and then they come out of the soil and they open up, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, May apples colonized by rhizomes forming dense mats uh, in damp open woods on the edges of woodlands. Common name refers to uh, May blooming, for us April, but uh, referring to either April or a May bloom. Uh, Although the leaves, roots, and seeds are poisonous uh, if ingested in large quantities, the roots uh, were actually used by our native people uh, in the southeastern United States for a variety of things. Uh, but a great, again, native uh, wildflower, wild plant that you should know uh, that is iconic part of our spring in the southeastern United States. So Potophyllum pellitatum. Uh, the May apple, this is a herbaceous perennial, hardy from zones three through eight, just getting one foot to one and a half uh, feet tall, spreading out uh, one individual plant to about one foot wide, but again does colonize uh, by rhizomes and also by seed. Uh, you can grow this in average medium moist soil, really does prefer to be in a shady uh, type situation. Uh, the flowers are quite beautiful, they're white uh, and uh, happen when you have the div of division of stem uh, and it's definitely one uh, that is best observed out in the native woodlands uh, and not as easily grown in the home landscape but again definitely one you should know. Here's a landscape tip. Excellent for naturalizing in woodland settings, wild or native plant gardens.